welcome to another video. So, today I am cooking dinner and I'm going to try and uh, talk about the Maroon de Dam 30 kilometer run. I was just doing a, a video of it and I didn't like how off topic I went. I'm already doing it, it's 22 seconds in. So, starting again, let's do this, okay? Uh, tonight I am cooking sweet mashed potato with some beef scotch fillet steak and some broccoli and um, have the same stuff. I'm gonna have some chocolate. Anyway, this is a mint slice and I am also going to have, this, how cold is this? Not cold enough, let's have a kombucha. Mm. We're in the dam, 30 kilometer run. It went bloody amazing and a lot of people would have seen if they've watched the other video that a lot of the run or before the run I was in my head I was getting upset. Brett done some amazing things for Courtney and I at the Yu Yangs and I'm not gonna forget that and I probably couldn't have my run in at the Yu Yangs be the one where I end up telling him. So it's like, that's why I came here today. Um, crying a little bit when I was talking about like the things Brett and I, Brett done for Courtney and I when we were together. And I went there for a bit of healing. Like I had a psychologist appointment the week before and that's what got me to do Maroon to Dam. Uh, I thought it would be a great place to go see Brett, see how he's going, let it all out. I guess, and to go from there really, a bit of moving on I guess, um, accepting things the way they are now, and going on. So the run, probably could have ran a lot faster, but it's like, I wasn't there for that. I went there to eat mint slices, some gels and food, and to overall have a really good time, which is what happened. I don't think the run could have gone any better. I took my time didn't get injured. I'm talking more than I'm chewing at the moment. And honestly, it was really good. I like to get out there. There was a guy named Nick that I met. What's your name, sorry? Uh, so I should have asked as well, Nick. Nick, nice to meet you, Nick, I'm Matt. Yeah, nice to meet you. Whoa. And I thought he was a really good character. We um, enjoyed most of the run together, or at least the midsection, or the yeah, roughly around the midsection. After the turnaround, I was just taking my time coming down Dodds 2.0 because that's where I twisted my ankle in previous years. But it went really, really well. I'm happy with how it went. It rained all day and it didn't even bother me. So I think that is a really good thing to get out of it, to just learn to enjoy running in the rain again and to not give a shit about times or anything. I think a few people ask the times and it's like, I don't really remember like to the minute, like most people would with a run. It was like three hours. I don't know. <laughs> it was, I went there, I ran and I had fun. I had some beer, um, finished the last one of that last night, actually, the six pack that I purchased, which is really good. And yeah, it just went really well. Things I can take from it is to just follow your plans really. Like I've had so many nutrition plans and lately the one I'm having now is basically have something every five Ks. And it didn't matter about the elevation or the time that it took me to get there. It's like, just get to five Ks, you can have some food and go from there. So I think that is going to be one of my biggest takeaways uh, to make sure that I just keep eating at least 5Ks. I didn't have um, any electrolytes during the run other than like the Coke, I guess. <laughs> oh no, it's in the gels, so that's fine. The carbs in it as well. And I think it's just overall a good, I've probably cooked way too much sweet potato. Maybe it's a good thing I haven't fed Chance. He can have some sweet potato for dinner, I think, as well. 
so that's done. This can go in here. I've already forgotten that. <laughs> yeah, stick into your nutritional plan and just go on from there. And I'm doing this because I love the sound of a can opening up. Oh, that glorious sound. Cheers, guys. Anyway. What's something I need to do to prepare myself for the yu yangs? So, the biggest thing is I have no confidence at all with downhills. I'm paranoid about hurting myself, about twisting my ankle and not recovering. That's my biggest concern at the moment. So everything's on the stove top today. Time to get steaks ready. So I need some pepper. Surely I've got some pepper somewhere. Oh, pepper, where are you? Maybe I've ran out. Four nice big juicy steaks for me. So yeah, I need to practice some running down hills, I guess. And there's the pepper over them. Black pepper corns on here. Yeah, the biggest thing, twisting my ankle. That's what I'm worried about, but I need to get some downhill practice. I'll just need to play it carefully and take it from there, really. I might change location while this is doing its thing. Try and get some downhill speed sections. Maybe I need to go out to Walhalla, uh, get more trail practice. I think that's gonna be the biggest thing for the next 12 weeks. Um, that's about it, really. The run itself, I don't think it could have gone any better. I went out there, I had a great time and it was overall just really refreshing to get out there and enjoy something and to see some friends and hello. Hello, yes, hello. I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to the camera. Just a great time out in nature. What else can you really ask for, I guess? Today's been a very productive day. Uh, I think if I can have a day like this and smash out so many things and still feel so energetic, like I get it, it's a taper week this week. It's good to just sit and chat and relax. And I've thought of some things that I might do. Uh, last Monday, I had a massage from Sophie at the relaxation center in Terrelgan. Uh, she's been offering a lot of great advice and helping fix my legs. I think journaling what I've been doing, seeing how the body's feeling, uh, it can give me a better understanding of what to ask for in the massage, I guess. She said if I want to work on my hips, which I really do think I want to now, then it's a bit of a warm up for it and it's like runners have crappy hips, crappy hip flexors, all that stuff. But I really think it might be very beneficial for me, um, at least to give it a try, try and get some movement back there. So I think that's what I'm gonna be asking for. I might do a week by week kind of analysis to see where I'm at training wise and just go from there really. Um, what else can I say, really? It's not much of a review of the run. Like, Brett's great, Trails Plus is great, Maroon de Dam is amazing, it's a beautiful place. Maybe I'll end up going there yearly. It would be nice to tackle a different distance. It would probably have to be one that's further than the 30K, so I think it will be 42 or 50 that I end up doing next. Uh, the fact that I ja jumped over the finish line twice for some photos, the fact that I dropped, yeah, jumped, done those jump shots a couple of times was really good. And some things that I've got memories from, little acrobatics at the end of a run, mostly because of the photos of Courtney and I over there doing it. I think that might be nice to do again. Whether anyone wants to do that at the end of a run with me is another question. Uh, I got that from someone named Full Tilt Forward or something. 
He's a YouTuber that does some crazy distances as well. He's done like 200 mile runs and yeah, I think that's something. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I guess, yeah. Me just about saying that'd be something I'd like to do one day. It's like I haven't even done 100 miles yet, but gosh, that must be great for the ego, I guess, or the confidence boost there. Just like an adventure. I need a good adventure soon. Next race, I guess. That's something else I can talk about. I think the next race I want to do is the Woodlands Reserve uh, trail run that's on in a few weeks. It's at the end of um, on a recovery week. So it's four weeks from now, really. Let us see how the potato was going. Because that's kind of the main thing I'm waiting on. The steaks aren't going to take long to cook. Broccoli start cooking. Yeah, Woodlands will be the next run, I think. Oh, it would be really good to be able to go there. Yeah, I think that's it from me, really, in that regards. I'm not sure what else to say about Maroondah. Bloody amazing run, great day out, great feed at Missing Link after it as always. And that being said, I went to Missing Link today and I had a chili dog and a milkshake. It was a Milo milkshake, it tasted really good. Uh, and a can of Dr. Pepper, that was it. And when the friendly staff brought it out to me, they're like, only a hot dog today. I'm like, I didn't run very far today. It's only 16 Ks. It felt so easy today. I wish I got more. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit hungry, but um, I'm feeling really great in my body at the moment. So I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to go for an early gym session tomorrow morning. Uh, try and take a chance for a walk as well. I'm kind of getting too distracted here. So steak goes on the pan. Don't you just love that sound? There we go. Maybe I can leave this um, video a little bit so I can get this dinner ready and go from there. Bye. Okay, so here we are with my glass of red wine and my steak and broccoli and sweet mashed potato. Chance is having Australian snapper, courtesy of Woolworths. And now, here I am. Let's get this tracking on me. So, not sure what else to add to this video um, other than this. <laughs> Enjoy a nice glass of red. We've covered not much over the length of the video, to be honest. So it's been like um, stressed about the run, rain jacket, twisting my ankle, wanting to get more time on the trails, wanting to make sure I focus on my nutrition and all that, just making sure I stick to my plans uh, and really dive into that, learn to listen to my body more, even though I'm already doing that a lot, and to just relax and have fun, try not to dance so hard. Let's see if this is crunchy. I think it was an awesome run. Got a lot to take from it. I think doing another event would be awesome. I can kind of dial in on things. I probably need to focus on getting another hydration pack. I don't think this one will be good for the Yu Yangs this year. So I really need to do that soon. Need to look at shoes. I've paid for my accommodation, even though I'm going to be out running for most of it. Need to start getting into some whole foods like I had with the Yu Yang's 100k and that's like bread with soy sauce and almond butter uh, and go from there. I've got another 38k run next weekend so I think I'm gonna do what I've done for the marathon on that one and just go from there. I think it's all very much going well so that's about all I can hope for really. Just keep this going well enjoy my time. I think it'll be nice to get a video out tonight. But I'm also going to sit there and play some Diablo for a while. <laughs> it's a lot of good fun. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I want to be able to enjoy my steak. Let's see what it tastes like while I've got the video going. Looks nicely cooked. Five minutes at each side. You've had your dinner. This is mine now. Hmm. that tastes really juicy. At least now I don't need to cook at all during the week. I 
it's going to be a busy week. So I'm looking forward to just coming home, heating up a meal and going from there. Hmm. I'd like to do a proper Briggsy Cooks video. I think that would be fun. I think it would have to be my uh, pasta meal that I make though. Anyway, one last sip. For the camera at least. You all have a beautiful night, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Bye.